Hello and welcome back to another functions and graphs video. Today we're going to be introducing something brand new, another type of function called a logarithm and we're going to be going over what a, a logarithm is and what the graph of a log looks like. So up until now in our maths in high school, we have only been able to solve problems involving exponentials when we know what the index is. For example, if I said to you x squared is equal to 36 or y to the power of 6 is equal to 512. In this case, our x and our y are the base and the index is 6 and 2. So we would know how to solve this by taking the square root of both sides or in this case here, we'd be taking the 6 root of both sides. So we find these pretty easy to solve, but what if we had the case where we didn't have the exponential as such and we had it the other way around? For example, let's say we had 6 to the power q is equal to 512. Well, we don't know what we do in this case. How do we take the qth root? of 512. What is this value q? Well in this case all we would simply do is we would use what we call logarithms or to shorthand say this we would just call them logs and in this case if we were asked to solve for q in the case 6 to the q equals 512 we can give a formula to work out q and the formula for q looks something like this. We have the log to the base 6 of 512. So what have we done here? Well, we've introduced this thing called log. We've put it to the base of 6, which is what is our base of our q. And we've done it of 512, which is what our resulting output is. So we can write a general statement by saying, in general, and we're going to have a little bit of a formula here, we're going to say log to the base a, we call a the base, and we put x is the power of a which gives x. So we say that log to the base a is the power a which gives us x. So we're going to now look more specifically at logarithmic functions, but I'm going to keep this little sentence up here that we wrote where log to the base a x is the power of a which gives six, uh, gives x, sorry. So we're going to introduce a logarithmic function by saying that a logarithmic function is one of the form. So this is the form that they have. We say that it is of the form, our function f of x equals log to the base a x where x is greater than zero. And this is because if you try to take a log to any base of zero or a value less than zero, you won't get a value for this. So a logarithmic uh, function is one of the form, what we explained here, what a log is. And because it's a function in this case, in terms of x, we call any function of this form a logarithmic function. Now we've talked about inverse functions and we've talked about exponential functions in our previous videos. Well, a logarithmic function is simply the inverse of an exponential function. So we'll just write log is inverse of exponential, just so we remember that. And we can visualize this by a graph. So we can see that a graph of a logarithm or a log logarithmic function, let's say log base a x 
equals y, we can simply just reflect the exponential function across the line y equals x. Now if you remember what an exponential function looks like, it just looks something like that. So if we reflect that across the line y equals x, you can see that it is simply the inverse function because as we said, an inverse function is simply when the function is reflected across the line y equals x. So taking a look at this logarithmic function here, we can say a few things about the graph of a log. The first thing we can say is that logarithms always pass through the points 1, 0, as you can see right here. And this is because if we substitute x as 1, no matter what our value of a is, it will always give y to be the value 0. So log to the base of any number of 1 will always give 0. So we say that a logarithmic function always passes through 1, 0. And we also say that it also passes through the point a, 1. Now, if we remember for exponential functions, it was the other way around. We said the exponential functions cross through the point 0, 1 and 1, a. So this here is an exponential function and this here is a logarithmic function. So if you can just remember one of these, you will know the other one just by flipping things around. So just memorize one of these for the exam and you should just know that the other is the flipped version of that because it is simply the inverse function. So using this definition of a log and an example of what a logarithmic function might look like and the graph of a logarithmic function, let's go on to sketching a curve with the equation of a log. So in this example, we are asked to sketch the curve with the equation y equals log to the base 6 of x. Now if we remember, we said that a log always passes through the point 1, 0 and a1. What is our a in this case? Well, we said that logs are of the form log base ax. So our a in this case is going to be 6. So therefore, it's going to cross through the point 6, 1. So let's label this on our diagram. So we're going to have 1, 0, which we'll say is about here. We'll just label this as 1. And we know it's going to pass through 6, 1. So this is obviously not to scale, but it's going to be somewhere maybe up here. We'll just label this point, um, not x, it's going to be 6, 1. And if you remember, exponentials look like this, logs look like this. So our function is going to look like this bottom one. So we know it's never going to touch the y-axis. So it's going to look something like this. And it doesn't have to look perfect. But when you do draw a log, just a few important things that you need to know. The first important thing is that it will never cross the y-axis. So it'll always get closer and closer to the y-axis, but it will never actually touch the y-axis. So if you have your log looking something like this, you've done something wrong. And you also need to make sure that this point here, when it gets to 1, sort of flattens out a wee bit. So when it gets to 1, it'll flatten out. It's not going to go up to 1 and then get even higher after. It's simply just going to flatten out like that. So if your function looks something like this, you know you're doing something wrong. Simply just needs to look like that. So I know that's a bit messy, but as long as your function looks something like this, it will always be a logarithm.